Australian researchers are changing the way we treat painful osteoarthritis. The aim of a new trial is to stop the pain without major surgery. For more than 10 years, George Cook has suffered knee osteoarthritis. Can I get you to straighten out your knee a little? Yes, beautiful. But the 72-year-old former rugby player is determined to avoid a full knee replacement. There's a big rehab involved. There's also, in some cases, uh, and a percentage of cases, it doesn't work. He's signed up to take part in a new study led by a UniSA researcher, which focuses on keeping people like George moving through a combination of physiotherapy and pain management techniques. What we've noticed is actually a lot of people will end up getting referred quite quickly to surgery. So they're undergoing total knee replacements really quickly and yet they've actually not received a really good course of non-surgical care. Researchers say one in two Australians over the age of 65 suffers from knee osteoarthritis, costing an estimated $24 billion a year in healthcare expenses. It's something that reduces independence, reduces quality of life and oftentimes can be really difficult for people because they lose the ability to do everyday activities. The $1.2 million dollar study is funded by the federal government and will also include researchers from Melbourne University and will see patients undergo eight weeks of physiotherapy and learn pain minimisation strategies. And a lot of uh, managing the problem that I've got is has been through um, understanding how the brain and what effect it has on, on pain. The aim being to improve mobility and prevent weight gain people that have potentially been walking with a stick are now able to lose weight, walk better and, and get rid of the stick. Researchers will start recruiting patients from October with the trial to run for four years. What we're trying to do is step in and stop that vicious cycle and give people back the ability to take control of their own, of their own health within themselves. Lucy Hinton, Nine News.